What is up guys, welcome to a new episode today. We are playing a new game called Gwent. It's from the Witcher series, but it's just based off the Witcher card game. This is the closed beta, so we're going to get down into it. We're going to do a couple of practice games as well, just to show off the game mechanics and what the game is actually like. So let's get started. So you have different starter decks right here. Each one has a different class. So you've got your monster, I don't even know how to say that. Northern Realms, Nilfgaard and Skelliger. So we're gonna go with the Skelliger deck. They're all ready to play these starter decks, or you can create your own. So this is our AI opponent that we'll be versing. This is our leader card right here, that's their leader card. So at the moment you get your, all your cards here shown. So you have the opportunity to redraw cards that you don't like. So what we can do is we can get, get rid of that one. Um, Get rid of that one. And that that should be alright. Alright, so we'll accept that. Just waiting on that. So basically the aim of the game is to get more points than your other opponent in more strength points they call it than your other opponent throughout the game. It's best of three rounds. So it starts off with uh, melee, archery, and siege. So all your melee characters, which are these ones with the swords here, can go onto the, the melee section, archers onto the archer section, and siege onto the siege. These are like sort of your ability cards in a way. So each one has different abilities like Scorch, destroy the strongest non-gold unit on the battlefield. So that, that can go both ways. It killed kill their opponent or your opponent. I don't know why this guy's taking forever. He's an AI. Or is it my? Oh, it's my shot. Okay. So we're going to put Geralt of Rivia on. So it gives us 12 points on that line there and 12 points total compared to his zero. So there's different mechanics of the games as well. Like you can basically, if you want to pass, you can pass and then they can keep going if they want, if they need to get above your point. So it's strategic to pass sometimes because you only get that many cards. You get two cards for the next round and one card for the third round added into your deck. So if, they ha if they're down to like four cards and you're down to two cards and you're 50 points in front, you might as well end your turn. And if you're a round behind, you might as well end your turn because you've won that round. They're going to waste their cards trying to get back to you. So we'll add in prize winning cow. So if an opponent destroys this card here, it spawns a chort. If I'm saying that right, I've got they've got weird names, and that's about a nine or ten strength card. So at the moment he's winning, 16 to 13. I've got nine cards, he's got nine cards. So we've got our also our leader card that we can only use once during the game. He's already used his. So it's play a silver card from the deck, which he just pulled that out just then. My one is Spawn 2 Clan of... I'm not even going to attempt to say that name because they're weird. So what we'll do is we'll chuck in this here so we what can remove it? three strengths from any of his guys there. So we'll get three strength off him. And we will chuck in... Alright, so we'll spawn this card, so we get the choice of clearing weather, so weather affects different levels, so it affects melee, so that you can, if it's like snow or water for example, it does like a certain thing like removes 10 strength for that thing, so he can spawn that on uh, the melee archery or whatever, and you can use this card to get rid of it, or we can use this one, so it pulls a random bronze card, which is that one, and we'll just chuck it on there. So at the moment, I'm up 23 to 22. He's got seven cards. I've got seven cards. Um, just trying to think what we could use. Destroy the strongest non. We could pull this card out. So we'll destroy one of the strongest cards. So. That's obviously that one, because this is a gold card here, so it can't be destroyed with that ability. So we've both got six cards left. 
I think at this stage you'd probably best to pull this out. I think. Pulls this arrow on 37-21. We're gonna... He's gonna obviously pass. Because we've won. That's a smart move. So we'll pass as well. Because we don't want to waste any more cards. Because we've already won the round. Alright. I don't know why that's happened there. Um... Oh, so these these stay on the um, on the field, okay, because he's got that ability. So, because my guy died, we get a nine there. So we'll head off first. So he's got no ability, so we'll just chuck him on. I do like this game. I did play it a lot in the Witcher Three series. I played oh, probably fifteen hours, I reckon, just on Gwent. It was great fun. So I'm just going to explain what we're doing now. So basically, because we won the previous round, we kind of want to go all out. Like, we want to try and win this round without pushing a third. If we look like we're going to we're gonna lose into a third round, uh, if we're going to go into a third round, I probably would pass. That way we have more cards going into the next round. So we'll chuck this card in here. So we'll remove two strengths from all units there. We've got three cards, he's got four. Resurrect. Is patient, but she brooks no insult. Probably best to pull a card like this. So we can pull two strength off him. What was it? Three strength. Three strength off him. So I've actually only played one other game on this at the moment. I did the tutorial and I played one game online and it's quite fun. I'm enjoying this. It's exactly like the... Uh, oh, it's a bit different to the one on... Um, the Witcher 3 series, but it's it's pretty much the same. This is just a full-blown, like, actual Gwent game. Um, so what I think we're going to do is I think we might... I think we should pass. Because we're going to lose that round anyway. We're going in with only two cards, so we might as well... Oh, no and we forgot about that, so we're going to get absolutely hammered now. Aye, aye, soon as I my Jeez. We'll chuck him in. And we're getting absolutely hammered. I don't even know how that happened. We'll chuck him in. Piece of limbers. <laughs> We're gonna chuck him in. We got absolutely demolished in the last round. Wow. That's against AI as well. So we lost that. GG. Lost around 41 to 5. Holy crap. And then it gives you a nice little summary of each round. Not that we want to see that last round. That was horrible. So there are different decks there that we can start with. So we'll go back. We'll show off some other stuff. We've got uh, the cards as well. So you can do a deck builder where you build your actual cards. And we've also got a collection as well, so it shows off all the cards you um, have collected. Like that, so for your deck builder. We've got the shop as well, obviously you can buy stuff in game. Uh, apparently if you buy kegs, which is like booster packs, uh, if they reset the game when it fully comes out of beta, uh, they'll reimburse all those kegs so you can reopen them. You've got this stuff as well, that's ore, so that's pretty much in-game currency as well to spend in the store. And then we've got this... Um, crafting material which is made to fuse cards and all this other crap we've got multiplayer as well at the moment uh you can we can only play because we haven't got to level 10 yet for ranked matches we can play um oops sorry we can play casual matches at the moment which is just a friendly game um apparently friend matches aren't working yet and then in single player campaign is locked until the full game comes out and at the moment, we can only do tutorial and practice on single player. So, basically, this game's actually really good. I'm really enjoying it. I've only played two games, as I said, but I'm gonna, I know I'm going to really enjoy it because I loved, loved Gwent in The Witcher 3 series. And yeah, I can't wait to give you guys more content. Uh, we're going to look into possibly playing this game. I was going to do a starter trove series. We're going to put Conan Exiles on the uh, back burner at the moment. Uh, we're going to start a 
Trove series, as I just said, but um, unfortunately, there's a bug going on Xbox Alpha at the moment, uh, the Xbox Insider program, so I'm part of the Alpha program, and uh, we can't play many multiplayer games. Um, so that's that sucks a lot, because I set up my Xbox all nicely, all ready to go, went to go play, couldn't connect to the server. But hopefully in the next couple of days that gets all fixed and we can start recording for Trove. I'm really loving Trove, it's one of my new favourite games. I've got nearly 50 hours on that one, so it's great fun. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can give you some more Gwent as well, just showing off showing off the game in general. I just gave a quick like summary of what the beta is, kind of. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to leave it here. We're just going to leave it with a quick game here. And yeah, thank you all. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos as well, guys.